Hey everybody, it's Steve, the special projects guy from My Mini Casa, and today we're not reenacting an episode of Breaking Bad, but I am going to show you how to use a two part epoxy to seal or encapsulate the plywood floor inside of your shipping container. So here we are in my shipping container recording studio, which is under construction, and we have in here a floor made out of an inch and a half of plywood. Now it looks like this container was used to store a car before I got it, and there's a bunch of motor oil and other automotive fluids that are seeped into the floor. So I want to seal the areas where I see these stains, if not most of the floor, so that when I put my hardwood floor over it, I'm not worried about these gases uh, or these substances gassing up into the space. Now these days the floors of shipping containers are treated with a substance that is reasonably benign to keep insects from eating into the wood and to preserve it. It's a very similar substance to what's used in a pet's flea collar. You can encapsulate the floor if you like in those circumstances if you're worried about that or if you don't know what the floor is sealed with. Um, but this is a great way to make sure that there is a barrier uh, between you and what is ever in the floor so it doesn't gas up into the space. So let me show you how we're going to do this. So you're going to need a few things. I highly recommend that you go to Home Depot and get yourself one of these mixer attachments for a cordless drill. They sell it in the paint department and they're used for mixing paint, but it'll help us mix the epoxy up evenly and thoroughly, which is important for it to cure right. Because we're thinning the epoxy with acetone, both the epoxy and the acetone give off dangerous fumes. So we're going to use a respirator and in particular, we're going to use this cartridge which is for organic vapor, which means all the different organic vapors being given off by both the epoxy and the acetone. <clears throat> we also have some protective gloves and a roller and a brush. Because you're not going to be able to hear me with the respirator on, I'm going to quickly go through what it is I'm going to do and then show you. So what I'm going to do is take the epoxy part A and the epoxy part B and they're mixed to a 2 to 1 ratio and I'm going to mix it in this bucket and I'm going to thin it slightly with this acetone and I'm going to use this mixer attachment on this cordless drill to make sure that it's mixed thoroughly and evenly and then I'm going to apply it to the floor with this roller and this brush. <clears throat> now it's important before you lay down the epoxy coating or encapsulation on the floor that your floor is as clean as possible. So it's good to sweep, vacuum and mop the floor and possibly even degrease it with something like TSP. This floor uh, has some motor oil sunk into it. I believe a car was stored in here. And that's going to be too much uh, grease for any degreaser to handle, so I'm just going to put the epoxy right over it. <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, watch it all happen, and uh, I'll be back when it's done. So there you have it folks, a sort of quick and easy way to encapsulate or seal the floor of your container so anything that's soaked into the floor won't gas up into the room. I'm Steve-O, the special projects guy from My Mini Casa. Good luck with your projects and I look forward to sending you another video. Bye.